Hello, welcome back to my warm channel. I just want to show you what my feet was inside this container. Is my collection of tea bags and ground coffee. Okay. These are these have been accumulated over a few days, so uh, I, some of it might be moldy, but that's okay. It's just the worms will enjoy it. And over here is where in my freezer is where I keep the banana peels and apple core things that you usually throw away but I decided to keep them, freeze them and uh, before I feed the worms I will thaw them out In this bag I have some plums that were past their prime so I took the whole bunch of them and stuck them into the freezer so when my worms are ready for to be fed, I will take them out of the freezer and let it thaw out and I'll put it in the container um, for about 3 to 5 days and let them get soft and squishy. In this container is where I store the fruits, the thawed fruits, okay. and for a few days before I feed the worms and uh, they will turn nasty looking, you know, moldy and squishy. But I assure you, the worms really do like them like that. If you think this smells bad, well, you're wrong. Actually, it smells mm, sweet, vinegary. It doesn't smell bad at all. You you think that it will smell like sewer, but it does not. It just smells like fermented fruits. Two days ago, I left some plums in this bin. So let's check and see if the worms are enjoying the plums. In, oh, here are the plums, and it's gotten even more squishy. And I think the worms are enjoying it. What is this? Banana peel. Mm, okay, look at that. The worms have sweet tooth. Uh, they like anything that is sweet. They like things that are watery and squishy. So. I believe I put in five, but um, there's not much left of them. Okay, so the worms really do like the plums. And this is to show you what I feed the worms and how I do it. I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching.